guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing what's in my baby's hospital bag and this video is actually going to be a collab with a lovely lady called Nicole and um, her channel name is Wonky Rooms. Um, her video is going to be up in the cards so um, make sure that you check that out and it's also going to be in the description below. So she is a lady from Australia. So why we chose to do a collab is because I'm from Ireland and she's from Australia. So we wanted to see um, what is the main differences um, that we have to bring or we are required to bring into hospital when we're going to have our babies and stuff. So today's video is what's in the baby's hospital bag and then next week I'm going to have what's in my own hospital bag. Um, so how I have split up the bags is we're going to have a labour bag and then we're going to have the main hospital bag. Um, so I have set up um, my baby's outfits or my baby's items like that also. Um, so we were given a list from our hospital and also when I went to my antenatal classes of what we are required to bring um, for baby and for myself. Um, so I'm just going to quickly read what is required for the baby. Um, so I'm just going to look over here at my laptop. So it is um, six long sleeve baby gowns, um, six vests. A cardigan, a hat, a pre-washed towel, a pack of nappies, um, cotton wool balls, six baby bibs, um, two baby blankets, two cot sheets, and your car seat, and also some going home clothes. Um, so that's what is required um, by my hospital that I bring for the baby. So I'm going to just jump right in and show you what's in my baby's labor, what I have put into the labor bag for baby and also what I have put into the main bag for baby. For our baby in the labor bag, we have um, two cellular blankets. Um, so these are the blankets with the little holes in them. They're what's recommended. Um, a baby's vest, a baby grow, which is like the sleepers. Um, a cardigan, a hat and scratch mitts and then two nappies as well. So these are size one nappies from Pampers. Um, so these clothes and the nappies all go in this Ziploc bag and they'll just be sitting um, in my labour bag. So in the main hospital bag um, recommended that I bring for the baby is another, so a third cellular blanket, the first two are in my labor bag, this one's just in cream, a cot sheet um, for the bed um, for the baby, then we have a full pack of nappies. So I just have them in this um, bag I got in Ikea. I have nappy bags there. I also have some water wipes and some pseudocream. Um, I'm also going to not use that pseudocream, um, but I'm going to have some coconut oil, which um, will help with the meconium. Um, so we have to bring our own full pack of nappies. Um, also needed are these cotton wool balls and um, so when you're changing baby they recommend that you do it with water and then these cotton balls um, something else we need to bring is a hooded towel and a washcloth and um, so that's both of those um, I'm also bringing three muslin cloths so it's just this pack of three muslin cloths um, also bringing these vests so there's one two three four five six seven so there's seven vests there it's a mixture of long sleeve and short sleeve um these sleep suits or baby girls as we call them here so there is one two three four five six of these and then finally these hats and scratch mitts so there's three of each and all of these um, cloth items that you see here, all of these fit into this double-sided bag that I got from Ikea. So that is everything we are bringing for baby um, 
that is going to be in our main bag and then finally when we get to go home um there will obviously be a going home outfit and what i am planning i'm bringing and hopefully she isn't too big for this and um, it, it comes with a pair of socks a hat this long sleeve top and then the bottoms and then a cardigan to go over it and then we will be putting her in her car seat so we didn't want anything that was too bulky for um the car seat and that cardigan also comes with um hat some foot sock things and some mittens but um probably won't be using them so that will be her going home outfit then her car seat would be the only thing else that we need so this bag has the nappy change and stuff so that's the cotton balls and um, the pampers the nappy bags the coconut oil and this is what this bag looks like and the going home outfit is just in this slip lock bag and then finally all the clothes the towels the um the cellular blanket the hats and mitts are and the muslin cloths are all in this bag again this came from ikea so that is what the baby's clothes in the main bag will look like that is it guys that's everything i have for baby and um, let me know if you think i'm missing anything that's specific for babies um as i said i read out the the list that was given to me by the hospital and um, we are going to also just add some coconut oil as i said for that first meconium um that are the first meconium nappies and um, it will make it easier um so that is really it um i don't know how long i'm going to be in hospital hopefully i'm not going to have to use even half of those things um but just in case I don't know how my birth is going to go, so we decided to bring it. So again, this was a collab with Nicole from Wonky Rooms, a lovely Australian um, pregnancy and TTC vlogger. So if you haven't, make sure you check her out. Her, her link for the video will be up in the cards and also in the description down below. So make sure you check her out and let her know that you were sent from my channel. And um, I can't wait to see what she has to bring for her baby too. So as I said, if you have any comments or questions, make sure that you leave them down below in the comments. If you are new around here, um, thank you for watching and, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you like it, give it a big old thumbs up and I will be back with you soon. Bye guys.